Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have got a chipotle copycat recipe for you. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned. All right, so if you are a fan of Chipotle's black beans, then you are gonna be a fan of this recipe. I've got a copycat recipe of Chipotle's black beans. And as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to cook rice alongside the black beans in your Instant Pot at the same time. So let's go ahead and jump right into the recipe. All of the measurements for this video are gonna be in that description box down below. Now this is a super simple dump and go recipe. Now if you want, you can saute the onions and the garlic ahead of time, um, but if I'm in a hurry or I'm feeling lazy, which is a lot of the time, then I just dump everything in my Instant Pot and set it and forget it. So here's how you're gonna do that. Go ahead and put your black beans in the Instant Pot along with the water. And then I diced up some yellow onion and you're just going to go ahead and put that in there. Then you're going to go and put your spices in. They are cumin, smoked paprika, and chipotle chili powder. And I've got some minced garlic and I'm going to put that in. Make sure you get every last bit of that garlic in there. And then go ahead and give that a good stir to make sure that everything is nice and combined. And then we're just gonna go ahead and set our Instant Pot to the side so we can get started making the rice. For this next part, you're going to need a Tiffin tin and I will put a link to this in the description box down below. And basically, you are just gonna put rice and water in this Tiffin tin, cover it up, and then you're gonna wrap what's called a sling around this Tiffin tin, and that is to lower it um, into the Instant Pot. And this is how you make it. Out of uh, some aluminum foil, you're just basically going to fold it up over itself until it's a nice long strip. You're gonna place that underneath the Tiffin tin uh, in the center and fold it over the top. So basically you've got something to um, pull the tin out of the Instant Pot when it's hot. Um, because you can't really reach in there with your fingers or um, hot pads when uh, it's hot um, because the hot pads aren't gonna fit in there. So you're gonna use that sling to pull it out um, and let everything cool off. Now that you've got the rice ready to go, go ahead and take the rack that came with your Instant Pot and place it down in the Instant Pot liner and use that sling to lower the Tiffin tin into the liner and then go ahead and make sure that the lid is set to sealing, not venting, and close it up. Then we're gonna set it to manual and go ahead and turn off that keep warm by pressing manual again. Make sure it's set to high pressure. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it to 35 minutes. Now, once it's done cooking, you're gonna go ahead and let it do a natural pressure release and then go ahead and open it and careful because it is very hot. <laughs> it's steamed up my camera here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear that off for you there. And then go ahead and use that sling to, it's gonna be hot as well, so be careful. Um, and go ahead and lift the tip and tin out of there and off to the side. And then I like to use a fork to lift out that rack because um, that is definitely gonna be hot as well. And I usually just um, set it right on top of the Tiffin tin and then give the beans a quick stir. And I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. And then go ahead and very carefully open the Tiffin tin. It is gonna be super hot, um, but go ahead and open it and give the rice a quick fluff with your fork and there you go, you have got some rice and beans ready to go. Now I used these rice and beans in a, um, basically like a uh, Mexican uh, rice bowl for one of my Brightline eating days. And that video will be coming up. So if you want to see that, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification icon so you don't miss it. And if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.